Hello everyone, quick video on the progress of the 196 1997 Hurricane deck boat. Virtually a total restoration, tore out all the old wood, foam, soaked, rotted. It was garbage. So redoing this bad boy. Alright, couple questions for you. I've got painting to do yet, I've got to kind of wet sand this thing, hit it again with a top finish coat. Uh, front drains were kind of hard to find. It had some sort of a small plastic half inch tube with a flange on it, so I decided to go with a stainless steel through haul instead of monkeying and wrestling with uh, nuts and all that stuff. I figured I would hit a bead of 5200 and then screw them in and then seal them on the bottom also. So that takes care of that. Also doing the same thing in the rear of this build with the same fixturing. That way I can fish a tube up through, hook it on, 52 or 4200, attach those. Back here, this is the old battery location. Putting a swim platform ladder on the back of this thing this will now be access with a lid opens and closes that's able to be walked on so this will be a boarding point for this boat all right back to some of the other things I'm doing here I've replaced the flooring from this point all the way forward to here I've got to get this all cleaned out, been doing some final tuning for getting the cap to fit correctly. That'll be storage for an anchor and other hard objects. Ski locker's been revamped. Maybe hard to see, but I did enough fiberglass work that this area slopes back on both of these accesses. That way water doesn't want to drain to them. And go in the boat water is going to have a tendency to want to run downhill to one of my four corner drains this hole here is right under the console you can see i have marine grade plywood in there with a battery tray my custom built battery cables jumped up to a i think it's an ot i've got about 13 feet of this going to the location of where my motor is going to be. So I jumped up from whatever was standard. I have a necessity for length, so I went with the heavy supply cables to the, to the motor. This is my base for my seat. I'm going to have to drill one main hole through the deck <clears throat> for this to fit. But this will be laminated and screwed down resin to the floor when I figure that location out again doing things to try to avoid holes and this will be sealed enough that water runs away from it that way water won't run down through that center hole for for this moving on these are locations for headlights in the past I'm thinking about abandoning, abandoning this, sealing it up, and drilling a hole here, or in this location, to mount my speakers. I'm going to go with an M6JL 880X, so I need to know if I'm going to put the uh, speakers in the face of this bench seat, or in the butt end of the bench seat. This furniture has been remanufactured by me. I'm making it taller, so it has a friendlier hip to knee ratio in the sitting position so ultimately the seats higher and I've been building backrests to make that higher also on the original manufacturing when you sat on the seat your shoulder blades were just about at the top of the seat which made it feel like you always had to kind of lean forward so you wouldn't you know lean back and have the eerie feeling of instability where you're gonna like lean over the back of the side of the boat kind of weird if you have this vintage and you sit and you pay attention to that you'll understand what i mean right away all right uh 
another thing that I'm doing is I have abandoned and removed the front red green. There will be a red and green on either side, respectively. I thought this was kind of a horrible spot to leave a, a, a big tow buster for kids that want to get on the boat and jump off the front of the boat. So the, that'll be moved out of the way. So it's, again, safer for boarding. No one's going to trip getting on the front of this boat or getting off the, the thing. This bench seat here will be about five inches longer than that side. So I'm going to lose the ability to have this door. And that, again, prompted me for my configuration to change the fence so I have a rear boarding situation so I have an access to the boat on off there that door and also the front I think I've covered all the things I want to cover for this video again feel free to give me some critical analysis because I can still make changes but I think I'm on the right track for what I'm wanting to do but mainly wanting to get uh some ideas on speaker placement because based on where I put my speakers that'll that'll you know lead me to the direction of where I want to run my wire so I have less wire for things to get snagged on and I can get all that stuff situated if you see anything else let me know but uh overall this has been a massive massive build and I'm looking forward to getting it done I plan on stripping all that decal painting the fences or replacing the fences with the same color as uh, my hull and then getting a decal done by a decal shop later on that kind of looks more modern. I've got some quarter inch spacers to space this thing up but uh, little by little whittling away at this project but I still got a lot to go. This color of the cap is slightly different than the bottom portion of the hull, so I'm looking to remove that pinstripe and uh, paint that common with the cap. And also the same color paint around the transom, right around the whole thing. So it's been fun. Upgraded the gas tank. The old one had pits in it, so I have a 27-gallon uh, gas tank in here versus the 25 that came stock. I don't know. It's been a lot of fun, but I really want to get it done. So give me your thoughts. Thanks, guys.